Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here. And today we're back for another video called Tunnel of Hole. Today we are working on this game in Scratch. The objective of, of the game is the player is, is to control the beetle to dig a tunnel and get the gold. Tunnel of Gold. We'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Variable, loops, pen, and broadcast message. So I'm gonna show you a demo. The game. There's some music playing in the backwards. Use arrow keys to control the beetle. And as you can, you, as you can see, you're the you're the person. You're 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 supposed to dig with D. And you're supposed to keep on digging and makes like this pink color. And then you can't get inside of the um the dirt if you don't dig. So rocks also bump you backwards. So that that could be a problem for you if and there's also a timer and you can also i got the goal and it'll stop everything so before i start please like share subscribe and comments in the com comment in the comment section below to see what videos you want next so i'm going to make a new project we don't need the scratch cat so let's get the beetle sprite this sprite right here. Um, so I already have some things in the backpack for me, like the sprite, the dig sprite. And you can just draw these, it's really easy to draw. Um, I have the start area and the, and the backdrop. So, I'm also draw the gold. And you just need some circles. So, I'm gonna do that. Um, get the no outline. That's correct. Um, you can also, uh, Gold. I'm gonna adjust that. Let's make that bigger. So, here we are. We have a piece of gold. Um, I might adjust it a little bit. Mm hmm so we got that piece of gold all right so we can also change the name of it to gold and we also can change this to uh the name of this thing to tunnel of gold or gold digger tunnel of gold Show you how to draw the backdrop. So let's just go to backdrop one. Just easy, just a gigantic square. It can be any color. Yes, it's 96 color, 60 saturation, and 56 brightness. Yes, yeah, delete it. Okay, so I'm gonna go start on the code. First, let's draw the start area. I also teach you how to draw that. Same thing, it's just a rectangle, same thing. It has to be a sprite. 96 color, 42 saturation, 81 brightness. You can also adjust it. The starting area is bigger than the dig, and we're gonna make the beetle smaller so the starting area is bigger than the um, beetle. So, we have to make these two variables. Timer. And digging. Um, 
also have to work on the backdrop. Backdrop's um, really simple. We already showed you how to draw it, and we just can uh, get some sounds. We can use the cave sound. That's what I used earlier. So, a cave sound. I think it's up here. Yep. Play sound cave until done. So, there we go. So, we also have to work on the start area. The start area is really simple. We can also add the rocks. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, that's so small. Around this size, I hope you guys can see this. Um, I'll go to Beetle. Beetle. So, we can move on to the Dig Sprite. So the Dig Sprite, so there's this new type of block right here called Pen, and I'll already have it up. If not, you, you can just go here, click on the pen, and there you go. I already have it. So, if green flag is clicked, green flag is clicked, it will erase all, hide, it'll go forever, go to beetle. So we can use this to dig later. And then gold. So we're gonna work on the gold. So when green flag is clicked, um, reset timer, because there's a timer that we're using. Reset timer right there. It'll go to X why whatever but it's going to be a pick random so then it'll, it can be anywhere so we have the pick random 80 to 225 and negative 160 to 160 so then it'll go up and down It'll generate around this area and just keep on working. So then, so we have to make a new broadcast called Set Up Rocks. So, so you want to set up the rocks, uh, the gold before the rocks, or else the go the rocks might generate on top of the gold. So we can go forever and then set timer to timer. This will keep track of the time. So we can also work on the rock sprite. So when I receive set up rocks, why is everything so small? When I receive set up rocks, repeat three times I'll create a clone of myself it'll hide oh wait one second and broadcast a new message called start game start Start game. And when I start as a clone, yeah, so this will call this. It'll, it'll create three rocks since it has to repeat three. It'll go to it's another random. It'll go to pick random and another pick random. Pick random negative 200 
to positive 200 and negative 150 to positive 150. Then it will show a repeat until not touching gold, so it won't ever touch the gold. So it'll be like not. You also need an or, so that can go inside there. Not touching gold or touching beetle, so it won't spawn on top of the beetle. And then, so you can just duplicate this one because it's literally the same thing. Delete this, put it inside here. So there we go, this is the rocks code. That wasn't working correctly because I made a mistake. So the or statement right here is not sp supposed to go outside. It's supposed to be the not going outside. Then you put the or, you gotta throw away this not, put the or inside the not, and then put the touching gold in touching beetle. So that's the correct code. Let's try it now. As you can see, it's not touching the rocks or the, uh, the gold or the beetle. Okay, so, um, We'll continue next video. So thank you for watching everyone. See you guys.